All right, so we're going to take a look at the Smart Wi-Fi uh, Garage Door Controller. And the way that I understand this is that if you have the inputs uh, for the sensors, and what I mean by sensors is the stop sensors here, this sensor here, then this device uh, is compatible with your garage door opener, but it's compatible with a ton, a ton of different garage door openers. So you can see faintly there's, there's a blue light on there and it's actually wired in uh, to the push button that's on the wall behind me. This thing connects uh, to your Wi-Fi and I uh, got it off Amazon for about 30 bucks. Um, it's this thing right here, if you can see it. Wi-Fi smart garage door controller and it comes with a sensor. Yep, so $28.99 on Prime. The way that this thing works and detects is it uses uh, magnetic switches. So I have one magnetic switch attached to the wall and the other one is attached to the garage using the hardware that they sent me. I would have preferred, I watched a video on it and they used this arm uh, as one of their magnetic switch holders and I may do that at some point, just come off the wall. But for now, this thing has been flawless. You do use an app for uh, controllability of it and you can add as many people to it as you want. Um, it's the Smart Life app, so here within the Smart Life app, I do actually have a Christmas tree smart Wi-Fi surge protector and uh, my reef tank is running off a smart surge protector. Um, but you can go in to the garage door and because the magnetic switch is closed, so we're closed here, you see that the door is closed. You can go into records here. Now it doesn't to show you who um, opened or closed it. It just gives you a record of it. But you can go into records here and you can see when it was open and closed. You know, afternoon, morning, it tells you open, closed, open, closed. So it tells you all that stuff. All you have to do to open the door is hit the button there, get an alert on my phone saying the garage door is open. And you can see that it's opening. And if we go back here, clear that alert. Close it from the phone, and as soon as it comes down, and as soon as this magnetic switch touches the second one, see if I can get my phone up here in time. So it's made contact, and now I've got an alert on my phone saying that the garage door has been closed. And I've been using this um, for a couple weeks now, three, three-ish weeks or so, and it's been flawless for me. I highly recommend it. I definitely wanted to be able to open and close the garage door remotely. Um, I've locked myself out of the house a couple times and my wife has had to come back from work. You know, it's a 30 minute drive to let me back into the house. Now, as long as either I have my phone, uh, I can open or close the door. Or if I don't have my phone and my, my phone is locked inside, I can go to any of my neighbor's house. I know my wife's cell phone number. I can call her and she can open the garage door for me. So for 30 bucks, pretty smart investment in my opinion. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think below.